Welcome to Dorista. I'm Pino Gri. Today we're exploring three avatars that tickle my imagination nicely. Let's go! Here we are with Mendako chan by Askapan no Shou. Mendako chan is a Mendako, which is a type of tiny little octopus. I didn't even know the name of it in English until I looked up for this video. Um, one of the common names is a flapjack devilfish. No. It's a flap. It is a... It is a... One of the common names is a pan... I should know. Okay, pause. Breathe. One of the common names is a pancake devilfish, which sounds so cool. They're very small, maybe 7 inches at their biggest, so about 20 centimeters for those who know the correct metric system. And they're a very common theme in Japan. As you see, this one is made to be very kawaii in this kind of super adorable mutated Japanese style. Um, but I'm going to dive right in and put it on. I need just a moment though, because it's a bit of a fuss. So. It's pretty bare. There's uh, no features, there's no expressions. It has acceptable lip sync. So why did I choose this avatar? Well, it's introducing today's theme. You remember some episodes ago, Rom, Majin, and I had a shit talk, and I mentioned my exposure to Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Well, that fantastic image of imagining what the deep sea world is like really sticks with me. And so, I chose this avatar to introduce it. So, let's go to the next one. Here we are at the booth of Shinbi Denshi Zoukeiten. This is Oguchi Hoya. Oguchi Boya? Tendaku is a strange function in Japanese. Oguchi Boya. Uh, a boya is a sea squirt, and this is a big mouth sea squirt. As you can see, that is definitely the right name for it. Let me try it on and see how big I can make my mouth. Ah, uh, yep, that's a big mouth. So a sea squirt is kind of a tiny little animal that just squirts around in the bottom of the ocean. I think, I don't know how many of them move, but this one is definitely sessile. So it just sits around, holding its big mouth open, waiting for something to come by so that it can eat it. Hum. Ooh, I didn't get to close my mouth. But when it does that, uh, I don't have anything more interesting to see. But this one stood out to me because the lines between English and Japanese crossed. Behind me, it talks about its lip syncing. And if you could imagine washing your hands in a sink, look like this. Suddenly it started talking to you. You would have a lip sync. I, I feel ashamed of myself, though, for that joke. This is Paul Mel by Hagure no Furuido. Where would the ocean be without slime? There are whole biomes of miles and miles of bacterial mats, goopy things floating all over. Slime is like the number one thing in the ocean, I think, so it seems. So I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like. Ah, big stretch. Oh, more. A little bit more to the ceiling. And, ah, I touched it. Oh man, I haven't done that since primary school gym class. So, this avatar is really quite nice. Look at some of these features. I have a wide range of colors. Blue, purple, green, kind of a bubblegum pink, gray, and a brown. But I think I'll stay with the purple because it pleases me the most. I have big arms that I can use. I think that's what a slime would do, especially when wanting to reach something far. And look at how nice this slime moves when I move my legs, when I sway my body, when I turn around. I get this nice dynamic bone gloopy feel. Speaking of gloopy feel, I can move my bangs about. Big ones, small ones, only on one side, on both sides. So that's a nice feature. And Dorsta has informed me that according to the terms of my visitor's visa for aliens, that I am obligated to show the boob slider. 
Bigger boobs, smaller boobs, smaller boobs are probably better. So, I really like this avatar's playful demeanor. I like the shimmering, glossy feel of the, uh, what do we call it? Slime body, I guess, and the fantastic way the dynamic bones all fit together when it moves. It's really nice. Today, the three avatars we saw tied into a dream I had, which is particular to me. But I think other people can share a sentiment that avatars are really nice when they inspire my imagination and let me play and be creative with my friends. So, those are the best avatars in my opinion. But thank you for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video!